Today I am going to discuss the forward biasing of the P injunction down by giving the forward biasing how the doubt behaves. Forward biasing a P injunction doubt is very simple. We just need to take a battery whose value can be varied from 0 to V volt. Connect this terminal to the P side of the P injunction down, positive terminal to the P side and uh, negative terminal, negative of the P injunction mean N type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery to the N side of the P injunction down. Like that here is a P and here is a N. P containing the number of, uh, large number of majority carriers holes uh, and N is uh, having a very large number of majority carrier, they are the electrons. And in between there is a depletion region where there are the ions. If we make the P injunction forward bias, then the thickness of the, this depletion region, it decreases, that the depletion region becomes very thin for a while for making it forward bias. So this P injunction is forward bias and hold they are now accelerating towards the negative terminal of the battery and uh, the electrons, these electrons, they are accelerating, electrons are accelerating towards the positive potential of the battery. Holes are accelerating towards the negative terminal of the battery. So with that, a uh, current is constituted. The forward bias circuit of PN junction diode is complete if we apply an external voltage. This to keep in mind that we have to apply voltage greater than the barrier potential of the PN junction diode. Only then it will start connecting because uh, for germanium the, bar the barrier voltage is, is around 0.3 and silicon it is 0.7 which we have to cross only then the current will start. In the forward bias condition, the conduct condition conduction is due to the majority case, as we know, holes in the P-type and uh, electrons in the N-type, they will start accelerating. Now, is a simple diagram that how we can vary the forward bias. Like this is a P and this is N or P injunction diode. We made P positive how? Like look, this is P, P is positive with this, this is positive. And uh, this N is made, uh, N is made negative with the negative terminal of the battery. And the uh, forward bias which is given, it is variable through this so this variable arrangement, so this uh, the position of the arrow, uh, by sliding it on a resistance, we can give any forward bias to the P-N junction. And we measure the voltage given to the P-N junction with the help of the voltmeter. And again, it is important to note that if this is positive, if this is positive, then uh, voltmeter positive, Voltmeter positive should be here and negative should be here. If the, the battery positive is here, then ammeter positive should be here, negative should be here. This is mainly ammeter because uh, this voltage will give a current. When voltage is applied to the P and junction current, it give a current that is that can be measured with the help of the uh, uh, ammeter, milliampere meters. So this is a forward bias and forward current. So just crossing the, you know, like uh, this knee voltage, uh, there's a sharp rise in current, which is in uh, uh, milliamperes. And uh, whereas uh, when we make it reverse bias, uh, which is not the topic of uh, today's video, I'll discuss it later on. And at some higher voltage, there, there would be no current with the reverse biasing. But when the reverse bias is reached at a very 
high voltage then the breakdown takes place so we are just discussing in this video only only the this portion forward bias forward current okay and then and then increasing the battery voltage will increase the number of the majority carrier carriers arriving at the junction and will therefore increase the current flow if the battery voltage is increased to the point where the barrier is uh, greatly reduced the heavy current will flow okay like the shown here silicon the large current flow just crossing 0.7 this is called the knee voltage and in germanium just crossing 0.3 there is a sharp rise in current because just you cross the barrier the, um, the carrier will start uh, moving and they are starts accelerating towards the forward battery so this is uh, all about that uh, giving small forward bias there is a there is a large current now here pn junction diode and uh, apply the battery which is making it forward bias and there is a bulb bulb will light up because uh, forward current is flowing so this is very good example that uh, pn junction while making it forward bias giving current okay thank you